how would you address this situation at the border? Let me say to you that uh, my opinion is that this is a vulnerable place for President Biden, his administration, and Democrats in general. That the situation at the border, it seems to be, if not out of control, nearly out of control. So the two parts of the question, one, do you agree with that general assessment that uh, President Biden has gotten off to a, a remarkably good start in his first 100 days, but this is a weak place, this situation at the border? And the second is, what specifically can be done now, if anything? Any president who talks about immigration reform that is based on humane priorities uh, is going to become vulnerable because uh, there is a huge anti-immigrant sentiment in our country reflected, especially in the House of Representatives and clearly uh, among the Republicans in the Senate. So, yes, this is a vulnerable uh, situation for him. At the same time, uh, this is why it is a multifaceted issue. I would put a lot more resources into the Northern Triangle countries from where so many of um, these uh, immigrants or the, the people are um, coming from. They are fleeing violence, murder, death. So we need to put a lot more resources there. And then we uh, have a whole group of people who are seeking asylum. We have to create more judges more capacity to uh, to deal with the people who are uh, awaiting uh, those hearings. And then for the children, as I said, uh, we need to find either sponsors or relatives for them. Our attitude should not be that we're going to make life as horrible for them as possible to prevent them from coming. So it, it, is not an, it is not an easy thing, Dan. I don't have a magic wand. There are uh, lots of people who are working on this. We have a new uh, Secretary of Homeland Security who is very committed. We have a president who's committed. We have a vice president who also uh, is being tasked. It's going to take a, a lot of people, uh, all hands on deck, to address this particular uh, situation.